the next step will be to install the urinal bearing caps. Again, this is number one. This is number one. And this is number one. This is number two. Number three, number four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to line the numbers. Again, I cleaned the, the journal out really well. I'm going to put a, a little bit of a assembly loop here. Make sure it's well coated. So I've got all the caps installed. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arrows all pointing forward. Everything's lubricated up. As I mentioned, I think earlier, keep in mind the cam is, is going to be pulling down against, in some cases, uh, depending on the positioning of the lobes, against the closed valve. So we're going to have to push down against the spring pressure in a couple of cases. A little tip for you, something that works really well. I read this somewhere in, uh, in years past. Um, on the left inside cam, uh, cam caps, that would be these journal caps. This would be the left inside and left inside because this is the left side of the bike. Just snug these down to get started with seating the cam. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snug these down first before I, I go ahead and, and tighten down the others. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to bear really down on these tightly. I'm just going to snug them down. I'm going to watch the gap here the cap in the top of the engine and I want that drawn down equally. In fact these are quite loose here. Take my extension off I think it'll make it a little easier for me. You notice the sag developing in the chain. Totally normal. I would expect to see that. Okay, so I've got left inside these two and these two bolts snug down. They're not tightened down. Now I can go ahead and just seat the rest of these bolts and the other six before I prepare to start torquing things down. And I'll double check my chain and my link count before I continue with uh, torquing. Just to make sure nothing uh, got confused. It's easy to do. Trust me on this kind of thing. I've done a lot of these kind of projects and it's easy for something to get confused. So take your time. Don't be in a rush. Double check and triple check everything at this stage because if you get your cam timing wrong, significantly especially, you could in fact do some serious damage to your motor. So the next stage is going to be torquing down the cap screws. They're all snug down, they're not tight, they're just snug down all the way across and the gap is closed so these, each of these is tight against the head. I double check my chain. I checked it twice in fact. I counted both ways. 0 to 36 this way and 0 to 36 this way to make sure that I did in fact have everything correct and it's fine. And you notice the slack here again that's normal. Next step now will be to torque the cap screws. There is a sequence for this and I'm going to do it in two phases. The recommended torque for the cap screws is 8.5 foot-pounds. And to reiterate one foot-pound is equal to 12 inch-pounds. That's a ratio of 1 to 12. My torque wrench it only measures in inch-pounds, so I need to convert from foot-pounds to inch-pounds in order to set my wrench. Since my final torque value is 8.5 foot-pounds, I need to take 8.5 or 8.5 times 12, which equals 102. That's my inch-pound measurement, my final inch-pound measurement, I'll have to set my wrench to 102 inch-pounds. But I'm going to do this in two phases. So I'm going to first go up to 5 foot-pounds. 5 times 12 is 60. So I've got my torque wrench set here for 60. 
in inch pounds, and I'm going to torque to a sequence up to 60 inch pounds. Once I've got the first pass, then I'll come back using the same sequence, readjust my torque wrench up to 102 inch pounds, follow the same sequence again. Torque sequence for the cap bolts looks like this. One, two, three, four, that'd be the inside on the opposite side. Five, six, and then seven, eight would be the outside on the right side of the bike. And then the same thing for the opposite cam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we're going to go ahead and bring these up to five foot pounds, 60 inch pounds. One, two, Six, the outside, the far outside right hand side of the exhaust cam, seven, eight. Now I'll repeat the process for the intake cam, which will be following exactly the same pattern. When I say same pattern, you work from the outside in. So since this was number one and number two, on this side, this is number one and this is number two. So I need to do it from the outside in. So this is number one, one, two, and I'm going to go over here, three, four, working from the outside in, three, four, outside in, five, six, our right side now, seven, eight. Now I'm going to bring my torque wrench up to 102 inch pounds, follow the same sequence, and finalize the torque. This time I'm going to double click them all. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the exhaust cam now is done. Now I've got to finish the intake cam. Starting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So all the cap screws are torqued to a 102 final inch pounds. When you're done with your torque wrench, by the way, make sure you bring it back to zero when you're done with it for the day so that uh, you don't keep tension against the spring, which could uh, affect the calibration of the unit.